confusion and more crises for the All Progressive Congress APC in Riverstead as a further high court today nullifies all the primaries conducted by the factions of the party, thereby throwing the chances of Mr. Tony Cole and Magnus Abe in the balance. And the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, today released voters register to political parties with 84 million voters ready for next month's election. More than half of that figure are between the ages of 18 and 35. Welcome to the program, everyone. And this is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Shio Kimbaloye in Lagos. Well, the intensity is in fever pitch now as the 2019 elections are just around the corner. Check out our countdown clock right here on Channels Television. Less than 40 days, precisely 39 days to the 2019 general elections and the opening of the fourth day of ballots. So much to talk about tonight on the program, everyone. But well, let's begin from, let's begin by telling you about some of the political stories we are following on our political roundup. President Muhammadu Buhari has inaugurated the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council with a call on members to keep their eyes on the ball and ensure success of the party at the 2019 elections. While speaking at the event, President Muhammadu Buhari, who is the chairman of the council, urged the party to reach out to all parts of the country to campaign based on the achievements of his administration. This presidential campaign council was constituted with a conscious determination to ensure inclusiveness and excellence. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has pledged to complete all pending projects in the state if he is elected into office. Speaking at the presidential campaign of the People's Democratic Party in Loko Jakogi State, the candidate also promised to create more jobs as necessary to tackle unemployment in the country. While describing the present government as fake, he appealed for a chance for the People's Democratic Party to correct the mistakes they have made in the past. The presidential candidate of the Allied Congress Party of Nigeria, Dr. Obi Ezekwisli, says she will give priority to job creation, skill acquisition and poverty reduction if elected into office. Speaking at the flag off of the party's campaign in Karu, a suburb of the federal capital territory, Dr. Ezekwisli explained that the initiative will be achieved through public-private partnerships across the country. She also promised a total revamp of the education sector. Our own politics is a new direction. It's a new direction because we're putting the citizens at the center of the political process. President Mohamed Buhari today received at the State House leadership from Burnu State led by the Governor, Kashim Shatima, the National Security Advisor, Chief of Staff, the DG of DSS and NIA, Chief of Defense Staff, and members of the National Assembly. The leader of the delegation, Governor Shetima, during his speech, wept over the current setback in the fight against insurgency, as he told the president that the leaders have not lost hope in his ability to win the war and restore peace to the state. Amidst tears, the governor told the president that leaders came to present a set of observations and specific requests from an extraordinary security meeting held a week ago in Burnu State which will require urgent presidential intervention. The Assistant Inspector General of Police Medical, AIG Kaomi Hamadu, has certified Senator Dino Melaye medically fit to stand trial in the charges of attempted culpable homicide preferred against him by the police. Speaking to journalists at the police clinic in Abuja, AIG Hamadu said the police is providing good and quality medicare for the senator representing Kogi West in the National Assembly. Although Senator Melaye claims he needs further and better Medicare, the police promise to continue to take care of him pending when he will be arraigned in court. <laughs> 